Hello, my cookies. Welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, I have some lamb phyllo pie. Now, this is an amazing recipe. I absolutely love it. It's one of my top tier that feeds a family, feeds a crowd. It seems like it's more work than it is. It's relatively quick. This can be weeknight friendly. Uh, you can also make it in your toaster or your oven. I'm going to try and get it down on my toaster. I think you can get it done. It's kind of like a super savory baklava. So instead of that sweet honey and nuts and whatnot, you've got lamb, you've got feta, you've got cilantro, coriander, cumin, all these delicious flavors coming together. So let's get started. Let's gather our ingredients. First things first, you're going to need about two pounds of lamb. You're going to need some cilantro. Some feta, a couple lemons, an onion, some phyllo dough, about a pound. You're also gonna need cinnamon, cumin, coriander, paprika, golden raisins, also known as sultanas. If you know me, I love my Aleppo pepper. Give it a little bit of heat, a little bit of spice. Of course, some olive oil. So now that we've gathered our ingredients, let's get started here. You are going to need a 13 by nine baking pan, straight sided. If you're doing it in the toaster oven, if you got handles, oven is fine. Make sure you spray it very well. So we're gonna cut up this onion, one onion, regular dice between a quarter inch and a half inch. All right, over on the stove, I have my 12 inch nonstick skillet. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil, get these cooking. All right, let's get our onions in. I'm just gonna cook those until they're soft and that's gonna take about five minutes medium heat. In the meanwhile, we're also gonna mince up our garlic here. All right, our onions are looking good. Let's go ahead and add our lamb, break it up and cook it until it's no longer pink. It's gonna take about eight minutes. All right, while that's cooking, let's measure out our spices here. We have Aleppo, cinnamon, paprika, coriander, and cumin. So we're just going to do a tablespoon of coriander, a tablespoon of cumin, and a tablespoon of paprika here. Now for the cinnamon, I'm gonna use a little bit less. I'm gonna use about a quarter teaspoon here. And for the Aleppo, however spicy you want it. If you want it super spicy, forget the Aleppo. Do about, whatever, a half teaspoon of cayenne. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of Aleppo pepper here. All right, we are also going to need some lemon zest. Just a little bit's gonna go in here. And then we're also gonna make kind of like a quick little topping that will use a little bit of lemon zest as well. So I'm probably gonna make, let's say a tablespoon of lemon zest right here. It's gonna go in with my spices and seasonings and garlic and such. All right, my lamb is getting close. I know this next step might seem a little strange. However, it is vital. We need to control the amount of fat going into this pie. This is gonna be way too much fat. I'm gonna take all of it out and then I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons back in. Now you're saying, oh, Russell, all those spices. You're right, I'm not adding them yet because if I do, we're gonna lose a lot of flavor and I don't wanna do that yet. Watch this. I'm gonna take this lamb, which is just finished up being pink and I'm gonna strain it. So I'm gonna take the lamb, I'm just gonna add it to a bowl here and just let it cool. I'm gonna take two tablespoons of this. Look at all this fat, look at this. You want your pie swimming in that? I don't think so. I'm gonna take two tablespoons. I'm just gonna add all my spices and seasonings here. And I'm just gonna bloom these in the fat. It's gonna take about a minute. You want the garlic cooked through. It might seem a little dry at first, that's fine. It's getting fragrant, it's cooking through. We need about 20 more seconds here. I've got my meat. Gonna take my bloomed spices, add it in here. Don't worry, the meat is still putting off a little bit of juice here. Still putting off a little bit of fat. We're also gonna add some salt. Kosher salt, maybe about two teaspoons. You need a good amount in here, but you don't wanna go overboard. We're gonna be adding some feta. And that is gonna have a little bit of brininess, a little bit of salinity with it as well. But about two teaspoons kosher salt here. Now we're just gonna mix this up really well. And those lumps of spices, they're gone. It's all over the meat now. Smells amazing. We got to get our other mix-ins. We're going to put in some feta. We're going to put in some cilantro. We're going to put in some golden raisins. The feta is going to be fantastic here. It's going to add a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of salty brininess. It's going to be perfect. You're going to want about eight ounces. That's not including the water. So if you buy eight ounces and it has the water, you're only getting about five and a quarter. I'm just going to crumble up this feta. This is about eight ounces. For your golden raisins, you need about half a cup. For your cilantro, 
I'm just gonna cut it up fine. I'm not gonna mince it, but I'm not gonna leave big hunks of cilantro here. I'm just gonna kind of trim it up and you want about a cup chopped. Let's stir this around. So these raisins are gonna do two things. They're gonna absorb some of that liquid that the lamb kind of gives off as it continues to cook as we bake it, which is great. That'll help keep everything from getting too soggy. We're also gonna add some nice sweetness and a little bit of texture. It's time to get the pie part going. So you get your 13 by nine. Spray it down and you're gonna need several tablespoons of olive oil, probably upwards of five. All right, now let's get our phyllo dough. Now you're gonna need about a pound of this. So this first layer, I'm gonna be doing eight sheets, doing a layer of lamb, eight more sheets, layer of lamb, and then I think eight more sheets. Ideally, you wanna keep them pretty moist. Keep a towel on top of these, keep them covered, keep plastic on if you're working slowly. So you're gonna brush each of these with like a half a teaspoon, not much. I feel like if you dunk it and then tap it, it just stays in one spot. So what I tend to do is I, I dunk it and then I kind of spray it around, then I can wipe it. Don't worry, if you get cracked ones, use them on the bottom here. No one's gonna see, no one's gonna know. Friendly reminder, if you haven't started preheating your oven, you should. We got eight layers, all nicely oiled up. Now it's time for the lamb. We're gonna be taking about half the lamb here, spreading it evenly. Look at how gorgeous this looks. Press it into the corners. Make sure that you save enough for the next layer. Perfect, look at that, looks beautiful. All right, we're back to our layers, eight more layers. Now this gets a little tricky. You're probably gonna crack these, especially the first layers here when you're brushing. Be very, very gentle. The oil just makes sure they fry up nice, don't absorb too much liquid, and you have those independent layers. We're essentially making a croissant one layer at a time. All right, so let's put the last little bit of lamb here. We're gonna make another even layer. Use up all your lamb. Eight more layers, let's go. Now you want your top one to be perfect, no cracks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna gently press down and kind of compact this. Get any air out, get all those layers together, get everything kind of flat. Now we're gonna do a generous amount of olive oil on this top layer. This is like, if you're doing half a teaspoon on the other ones, this is two teaspoons. Here's the other thing. You need to cut it before you bake it. You just do, trust me, it's easier. I've done it. Get a serrated knife and I'm just gonna cut it into about eight little thingies. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can finish the cutting afterwards, but just trust me, cut it beforehand. Now that we've cut it, you've got to bake it until it's nice and crisp. This is going to take 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm going to get it in my toaster oven, 400 degrees. I have it set at my lowest rack. If you're doing your oven, do it mid low rack, 400 degrees. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to do a little topping. Pistachios are perfect here. I can't eat nuts, so that's why I didn't put them inside. However, we're gonna make a nice little gremolata topping. A little bit of lemon zest, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of pistachio. You're gonna want about a quarter cup of shelled pistachios toasted. You're also gonna want a quarter cup finely chopped cilantro here. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of lemon zest. All right, so we got our lemon zest, pistachio, our cilantro, and you got yourself a little gremolata. Now my pistachio is already salted, so I'm not gonna add a little bit of salt to this. All right, it's been cooking for about 19 minutes. Our cook time is 30 to 40 minutes. I am gonna rotate it now in your oven. I highly suggest you always rotate stuff, help it cook more even. No oven cooks evenly all the way around. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been 30 minutes. It's the beginning of the cook time here. We have absolutely perfect browning. Got our individual slices, it's already cut through. Now you gotta let it cool for those 15 minutes that I mentioned earlier. Don't cut into it beforehand. Don't try and serve it beforehand. Let it cool for at least 15 minutes. It needs to tighten up. Here we go. I'm glad we cut this ahead of time. Look at that. Came out perfect. For the gremolata, you're just going to put a little bit on top. All right, let's cut into this one. Oh, you hear that crunch? All right, let's get a bite. Mmm, 
such a fantastic combination of flavors. You get that crisp phyllo dough, a hint of gaminess from the lamb. Get a little bit of that cinnamon with the Aleppo, puts a little tingle on the tongue. The coriander, the cumin, they go hand in hand. You got that lemon zest in there, brightening everything up. You're hit with this briny bite of feta. And then bam, you're hit with this sweet sultana, this golden raisin, it's just juicy. And then the cilantro adds so much freshness. Look at the bottom too. I don't know if you can hear that, it's nice and crisp. Because I let it rest, I can pick it up and eat it like a pie, it's fantastic. Thanks so much for tuning in. This was Lamb Philo Pie. If you like what you saw, don't forget to follow me on YouTube and Twitch. I'm also on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks so much for tuning in, my cookies. I hope to see you next time. Take care.